what is going on guys today we're going to go over my favorite ios 14 widgets number six we have our motivation widget this little widget will keep you uplifted throughout your day and not only will it boost your mood but it'll also maintain your home screen aesthetic keeping everything looking clean while motivating you to keep going and push it. At number five, we have Usage. Now this app comes with quite a few widgets, my favorite being the battery widget and the memory widget. Reason being is because I often allow a lot of apps to run in the background without noticing, and this widget rem reminds me that I should be closing these apps. So you can see that once I close all of the apps from the app switcher, my memory does indeed go up, which in turn will save battery life. And who wouldn't want to save some battery life? Coming in at number four, we have sticky notes. Now, you guys are probably already familiar with this kind of notes. Um, these were available on Windows. I believe it was Windows 7. So basically, it's pretty much self-explanatory. They're sticky notes. They remind you to do things that you don't want to do, like an assignment or just getting groceries. I like these a lot because you can make edits and they appear right away. You can choose colors and you can also adjust the size. Definitely recommended. Honestly, this has reminded me to do so much stuff that I didn't want to do. And as much as I don't want it because it makes me do stuff that I really hate doing, it's stuff that I have to do. So definitely go check that out. Coming in at number three, we have the Google widget. So you just have to download the Google app for this one and it works just like all the others. Um, it comes with a few options. You have Lens, which is honestly probably one of my favorite um, widgets, utilities, I don't know what to call it. But basically you just put the camera on any object and it will tell you what comes up via image search. So it shows up, the iPhone 8 shows up as an iPhone 7, but hey, that's close enough. So if, if you ever wanna look into something or see what something is, you can literally just pull out your camera and point it at it and Google will tell you. We also have incognito mode for whatever reason you'd wanna use that. It also has voice search, which is really responsive. And in one click of a button, you have access to pretty much anything you need. This next widget is absolutely one of my favorites. It's called Steve. And as you can see, it adds the little dinosaur game to your notification center. Now, unfortunately, it only works in this area of your home screen, but it is a lot of fun and it does keep you busy when you get extremely bored. I find myself playing this little game all the time just because of how accessible it is. And at number one, we have Game Moji. Now, this widget goes hand in hand with Steve. It comes with two mini games and more if you'd like to buy the premium. The first one is a Flappy Bird like game, which you can see that I suck at because of how little of the screen you're dealing with. It's kind of hard but it is definitely fun and the fact that it's challenging makes it even funner. It also comes with a little memory game, which is fun as well. Just something to keep your memory sharp. It just shows you two emojis and you have to remember those emojis and it gets harder from there. Anyway guys, those are my favorite iOS 14 widgets. I'll be linking all the apps in the description for you guys to download. Also guys, if you would like to get a custom charging animation like this one, I'll have that link there as well. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.